Well, the history has changed since that statement. You know, um, a lot of things went on last year that I was very proud of him and I made a decision that this was best for our football team. What was the decision-making process for you like, knowing that some people might go back to those comments you made publicly about Brown and say, wait a minute, hasn't this guy had enough chances? I could give them what they think. The only thing I care about is this football team and what's best for us. Yeah, he doesn't care about the fact that Antonio Brown was lying about being vaccinated and potentially putting himself a three-time cancer survivor or 83-year-old offensive assistant Tom Mort Risk. He doesn't care about that. He cares about winning football games. He cares about getting another Super Bowl. At least he's honest about it. At least he's honest about it. I'm not saying it's right, but they're all that way. Look, if Antonio Brown wasn't good, he'd be gone already. He passes the test. It's a very simple standard. Excuses are made for the stars. Examples are made of the scrubs. If you're not good enough and you do something you shouldn't do, you're gone because we can't tolerate that kind of behavior. If you're good enough, well, the history has changed or whatever it was. I mean, look, on the way in, they were getting criticized for giving Antonio Brown his latest second chance. So, so Bruce Arian sticks his chest out, face turns red, and he says he screws up one time and he's gone. Right? That was October of 2020. And I understand it. He's proven his value since then. If he hadn't proven his value, he would be gone. He would have already been gone for something else. He's proven his value. And, oh, as I said yesterday, after the injuries on Sunday night, Chris, Antonio Brown could show up with a full deck of fake vaccination cards, and they're keeping him because they need him now. This isn't, well, we're going to keep him around because we don't want the Packers to get him. This is we're keeping around because we got to get him on the field. Because Chris Goblin's out for the year, and who knows how long Mike Evans is going to be out. He's week to week with a hamstring injury. Well, yeah, that's why you keep him, though. I mean, it, it is. And again, it, you, you keep him because of the insurance policy. Okay, well, we saw that. You're, you're cashing in the insurance yeah, policy right got now. got it. Exactly right. And I wouldn't let him go because I wouldn't want the Packers to get him either. I mean, period. You know, again, I mean, I'm not going to just like, oh, I mean, you know, bite off my nose to spite my face there. That's the one. You know, Bruce Arians, listen – uh, I'm, 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 I guess I'm going to stick up for him to a degree in the fact that, hey, <laughs> bite off his nose to spite his face. <laughs> yeah, you realize I, I it's know. cut off your I know. nose. Yes, exactly. It's impossible it's to very bite hard off to bite your it. own nose. I've done this before. We've this is, been down this before. I know. Well, I'm still dumb like before, okay? <laughs> but either way, I think like, you know, Bruce Arians, hey, I'm sure Antonio Brown came into town and he wasn't the biggest fan of it. You know, Bruce at one point was in Pittsburgh. I'm sure he heard other horror stories. He said, yes, he said he in 2020, we're never signing him. Right. He said it. Well, okay. Then you got Tom Brady. Brady vouches for him. That maybe see makes him look at Antonio Brown a, a degree differently. You know, then he sees what Antonio Brown does on a daily basis, the work ethic, how much he loves football. So he evaluates it for what he sees, even though he made those comments. I get it. All right. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I, to me, you don't, like, you don't teach a lesson just to teach a lesson at the expense of the rest of the team. You know, the rest of the team, they understand, like, what you said. Hey, the Stars, they, they, get, they get some free passes. It's the NFL. Welcome to the NFL, everybody. Yes. And also, I think if you took a poll of all those guys in the Buccaneers locker room, they'd want to, you know, you went, all right, we can either teach Antonio a lesson and not be our best and probably not to win the Super Bowl, or we can go, Antonio, you're a jerk, uh, but we still got a chance to win the Super Bowl. All the players are going to go, eh, just let's call him a jerk, and I'd rather win the Super Bowl. The hell with that. We don't need to teach him a life lesson here at our expense, let alone, hey, if Bruce Arians and Tom Moore don't have an issue with being old and what he did, you know, and surviving cancer, then who the hell are the rest of us to have an issue with it, I guess? And so – yeah, at least, like you said, Bruce Listen, Arians is honest, this, and I'm not going to be that mad right. about it. Well, he's honest in his dishonesty. Yeah, okay. He, he, he's willing to tell us that he's full of crap. That's well, really what it comes down to. Well, Don't yeah. pay attention to any—let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, I let you go. Let me finish. He doesn't care what we say about him now, but the reality is he, he says whatever he has to say in the given moment. It's all very transactional. It's all very malleable. He says back when he doesn't want Antonio Brown in 2020, we're not signing the guy. Then he's got Tom Brady working on him, and maybe he's got a little need. Okay, we'll sign him. But he screws up one time, and he's gone. 
Then he finds out Antonio Brown's not, you know, he's, he's not a bad player. He's still got some gas in the tank, helped us win a Super Bowl. Maybe I need him. Oh, who gives a crap about anybody criticizing me? We're bringing him back. It's, it's all based on the broader objective of doing what you want when you want, and the words are just the things that come out of your mouth to justify doing the thing that you want to do. That's what it is. That's all it is. He's doing what he wants to do, and he's saying whatever he has to say to justify doing whatever he wants to do. And there's a certain honesty in his dishonesty. So, you know, well, he's allowed to reevaluate. It's, you're allowed to reevaluate. Like, uh, you're like, uh, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. But then don't say, oh. but then don't say, but Chris, you make yourself look like a freaking buffoon when you say on the way through the door, he screws up one time and he's gone because I'm the coach and he screws up and he's out of here. All right, well, know, he I'm, said I'm circumstances. Don't say change. that then. He said but don't say change. it then. Why? But don't puff out your chest Why? and he say tried he to let him know that he's done. I don't think there's that big of a deal. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, give him, I give him respect. I don't even care. He screws up one time and he's gone unless I change okay. my mind and I reserve the right to change right, my well, mind. Yeah, but if he, he screws does up reserve one time, the he's right. Gone, he's there with change him. my mind. But if he screws up one time, he's gone. Mike, Mike, you sound. You can't have it both no, ways. You can't. You can have it both ways. You can. You can't. You know, you can. You can look at the pandemic and evaluate things and then go, you know what? We need to change because I have other circumstances but and then evidence. Don't, no, don't then don't say what? Position. Don't say you shouldn't do this? Don't, that's wrong, Mike. No. It's like against I'm your COVID stuff you said last you week. Don't, Things no, change. Completely you got different, different circumstances. Completely different. You're then reevaluated. They've reevaluated. He's allowed to say it and then change his mind. He's allowed to. You're being yeah, very no. stubborn in that. Well, of course right. he's allowed to. Yeah. Of he course is. he's allowed to. But don't give us the fake tough guy routine, which we see from Bruce Arians all the time. Look, part of this is, and I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Bruce Arians won't be on the show in the future. I really don't care. I've had enough of the fake tough guy bully routine from him. And the only, you know, there's a fine line between guys like him and guys like Urban Meyer. Because there's a lot of bullying oh, that goes on. Oh, that's insane. By coaches. That's ridiculous. No, 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 He's not no, even no. close there's to Urban lot, Meyer. That's a low there's blow. A, there's low a, blow. A, there's a, there, no, it's not a low blow. It is. There's a lot of bullying that happens. You're talking about there's Urban Meyer, who's a dysfunctional I'm, idiot, and you're going to get I'm, put Bruce Arians there? I'm it's saying, not true. I'm, That's wrong. I'm talking about the. There's a bullying element. Why? To it. What is he bullying? Element. I'm just. What, what did he it's bully? The, just, uh, Who it, did he bully? A, listen, why did it take four weeks for somebody to finally ask him about his words from October of 2020? Why did? Why were? Why were reporters tiptoeing around him at every press conference? He comes out with the right hook and he makes it clear he's setting the agenda. Look, I've been on the wrong side of it. He 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 he, he freaking called me out earlier this year for something that I didn't say. There's a there's a there's a, a not so subtle bullying factor there, Chris. It's not. It's, so, I'm not it's, saying he's kicking people, but I'm just telling you, he wants it his way, and he doesn't want to be questioned. That's the message when he says, "I don't give an s about it." He wants to do it his way, and no one is going to question him because he's always going to do it his way. I mean, that's how I feel about it. And I, so don't don't come off with this tough guy routine if you are going to be flexible. You're either flexible. Or you're not. So if you act like you're inflexible, yeah, you could be and tough you, and flexible. And you, you're wrong. You uh, could be tough well, and flexible. But, but you, you, know, it's you undermine. Ridiculous. You undermine your toughness. You under, but but don't. You could be. He doesn't tough, undermine it. Nobody cares on his team. They all listen, think he's tough. Well, he talks tough. He is and, tough. His team plays tough. They've always played tough. You're wrong. I think they get Sorry. To a point. I think you're they wrong. Get to a point and he's they, there they every day with Antonio eyes. Brown, and you're not. Okay. So you're wrong. Yes. I, I listen. Listen. The point is this, and, and and we haven't mentioned Antonio Brown, who, as we would expect, is very humble and contrite about everything that he's been through. Uh, he tweeted yesterday, "Put some respect on my name, all of y'all." And you know, this is a guy who submitted a fake vaccination card, violated federal law. He still has to worry about getting prosecuted, but it's okay. You can help us win football games. Come on back and play. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.